which states that I'll be charged over 10,000 rupees. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about how I got my camera fixed for free from Canon. I've had the 70D for about more than five years, I guess. In all of that time, it has never stopped working. So imagine my surprise when I'm shooting a YouTube video and suddenly the camera freezes, refuses to operate. And then while recording a footage, the footage like hangs or freezes mid recording and it shows error 80 on the top. And Canon is doing free services for certain amount of cameras which fall between these specific serial numbers. It's where it's mentioned on the Canon website. And as I was not currently in Delhi and I was in my hometown, which is not that much of a major city, I ended up finding like going on Google and finding finding the nearest Canon service center and uh, I was told that they would accept my camera and then send it to Delhi for repairs. So I went there, turned in my camera. So after 10 days, I think first I get an email and then I get a text on my cell phone and which states that I'll be charged over 10,000 rupees. But it clearly states on their website that they are doing this for free for the serial number of my Canon 70D. So previously before that, I had a talk with the guys at Canon in my hometown where I I submitted my camera and they said that there's no way that my camera gets fixed for free they are absolutely going to charge you money so for a second there i thought that this thing maybe does not work in india and just for exclusively for the western countries like america or something like that to just clear my doubts i just went on twitter then as i normally do and then i tweeted at canon india i don't exactly remember what i said but i think something along the lines that hey you're saying this on your website that it's free repair for these serial numbers and why i'm being charged money for this within a day I think they tweeted me back and they are like, we have generated a complaint about us, something like that and we will get in touch with you. So basically within the next 24 hours, I get a call from a Canon representative who's like, listen, we know that this is there on the website and this is right and you are not going to get charged any money for this. And I was like, what about this message which states that I'll have to pay rupees 10,000. He's like, that's just generated normally for uh, a bill of repairs and you don't have to pay any money. Within the next 24 hours, I get a call from a Canon engineer who has my camera like on the table and he's repairing it or something like that and he's telling me all the problems that are going on with the camera i had a very good uh, nice chat with him he's like okay this will be resolved in another day and you'll get your camera back within the week i first got a call that it's here and then i went to collect it i had to pay 200 to 300 rupees shipping for them to like ship my camera to the canon headquarters in delhi for repairs and then back to my hometown so funnily enough there are two things noticeable in this entire exchange that happened the first being that once i was done with all of this and i was i had to fill up a form and i had to sign everything so the guy who was checking out my camera in my hometown He's like uh, going over the forms and everything. And he's like, have you not have your camera repaired? So some people, they send the camera out and the bill is too much and they do not have it repaired. And they, the Canon just gives your camera back and you're not charged. Much. So he's like, have you not got your camera repaired? And I'm like, no, it's repaired. And the guy's like, how is the bill zero? And I'm like, I explained it to him then that it's like certain serial numbers are getting repaired for free and everything. And still does not believe me. So he calls up his supervisor, some I guess in Delhi, and he's like, this is happening right now in front of me. Am I allowed to pass this through? Is this okay for me to pass? He's not paying me anything. Is this okay? Will I get into trouble later? And then the guy, the guy who he's calling confirms it with someone else. And then he's like, okay, he's okay. You can give it to him. And the guy, he still does not believe why the bill is zero. And he just, he's like, okay. You take it. The second thing that happened was either it was the guy who called me earlier from Delhi or it was the engineer. It was one of them. They called me again to make sure that I did not pay a single rupee. So that was great. I think this is one of the reasons why companies like Canon have such goodwill with customers because they go like above and beyond to make sure that their customers are satisfied and not taken advantage of. So I guess overall, the entire experience of the repair happening over the two to two and a half weeks that it took was a great experience, good experience. Like overall, the end result was that I got my camera fixed for free, which is great of Canon to have these kind of things in place for the errors that they have made in production models. So if you also have something like this happen to your 70D or 80D, like error 80 or 70 shows up, you might want to check if your camera has a serial number which might get replaced or repaired for free. For these kind of things, you should definitely go to websites of your camera 
manufacturers and check out the kind of problem that you have if some kind of problem presents itself and you don't know what, what's wrong with it you should definitely turn your camera in and then they will tell you what the problem is and then you look it up online and then you search about what the problem is if they're having some kind of a recall of units or something like that and if you're lucky enough you might get away with it for free like i did this time so i do hope that this video was helpful and you found some good use out of it if you were looking for a fix for error 80 on youtube then i do wish that you do not pay a single rupee people have things go wrong with the cameras a lot and i'm very sure by the response that i got from the local canon team that a lot of people who have come forward with this kind of problem uh, at least in my hometown uh, ended up paying money for this and if a company is offering a service for free people should know about that and honestly i'm not sure that many people do so it's up to people like me to spread the awareness that these kind of repairs can happen for free that's it for me i am tsc i hope that i helped you a little bit and if you like the video like it and if you like content about cameras and such do subscribe and i'll see you again the next time